Hey guys, um, I don't know, I don't know how to start this off, just that when I woke up this morning, um, you know, went to the bathroom, did my business, you know, brushed my teeth, and take a cough drop because my sore throat hurts sometimes and I need it um, and you know I was just thinking like I was pondering in my head thinking like you know one day if my you know, like parent like my mom because I live with my mother I still do, and I'm 20 years old. Um, I have a daughter, which you all know, named Star. She's three years old, and she's going to be four in August, and so am I. I'm gonna be 21 in August, the same month she is. Just thinking, like pondering in my head, like about the future, like if my grandparents or my mom one day pass away like I could just live in my grandparents house and I wouldn't really change anything about it like really I wouldn't change it because it's a beautiful home it's really beautiful and for memory's sake I wouldn't want to change it and my mom like I could live here if I wanted to and if she passed away I could live here because it's sacred like it's it's significant to me it's special and you know I lived here for a very long time and I wouldn't want to just leave it behind but like that's if they pass away one day I mean I wouldn't mind moving out you know someplace new to start my own life and everything is my own but at the same time, I feel like I don't want to leave everything I know behind. <laughs> like, <sighs> like, to live here, you know, I wouldn't want to, like, break that bond I have and leave it because I don't know it's just special to me because I know this place I know it by heart I wouldn't want to leave it behind because I have my my memories because I lived here since I was since I was a baby and my grandparents is a beautiful home I wouldn't let anyone else have it but you know everybody dies but the thought of just the thought of what well, my mom used to cook here. My mom used to sit in that spot, or that was my mom's bedroom. And my mom, when my mom was here, she was she was alive. Or when my grandparents was there, like the thought of losing them scares the hell out of me. It scares the hell out of me. Of the thought of that, I I really cannot bear the thought of losing my mom and my grandparents at all. I just can't. I know everybody dies and that's life, but I just can't handle that. That you have to be strong to accept it and move on with your life. And like, and I think to myself, like, am I like, am I sometimes selfish? Am I sometimes thoughtless? Am I sometimes, like, taking them for granted? Am I, like, just thinking about it, pondering it in my head? Like, I don't want to lose my mom and my grandparents. I love them both so much. They are dear to my heart and soul. I'm scared.
because honestly, without my mother or my grandparents, I am nothing. I wouldn't have anything without them. And just the thought of them not being here at all in this world hurts me so much because I cannot bear the thought of losing them because I have a friend. He lost his mom. And I can't imagine that it sucks and it really must hurt him so much. Like, it's it must have cut right through his heart like a knife. <laughs> I love my mom. I love her so much. She is the best mom in the whole world. I wouldn't change that. Like, I wouldn't, like, want to just change her for anyone. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm just joking, but... I wouldn't, like... I love her so much. She's my rock. My everything. She's done everything for me. Like, she spoils me, literally. And when I was 16 and pregnant, she was there for me when my father was never there for me. He left. Like, he didn't care. Like, he didn't accept the fact that I was pregnant. And my mom was angry. They were both angry, but she just accepted it because what's done is done there's no turning back because like she is still here for me with my lazy ass because I can't do shit I can't do things like everything by myself like I always need her and I know that I can't depend on her just that I'm really scared of being on my own and not doing everything by myself. I'm scared of the reality. I'm scared of the real world. I'm scared of not being able to make it on my own. Because I can't do money. I can't use money. I don't know how to use it or spend it or go anywhere by myself. Like like taking a bus. I cannot do it by myself because I'm scared. I need my mom. <laughs> I need her to take me to stores, restaurants like McDonald's, um, go to a diner for breakfast, um, to, to a buffet, shopping stores like um, Walmart or um, Rainbows or um, Family Dollar Store like or whatever store that I like. Um, taking a bus anywhere, I need to go with her because I can't do it by myself. How sad is that? And I'm not even lying. I'm being really honest. This is how honest I can get. I'm I'm being honest. This is me. I'm not that smart. You know, I can't do everything by myself. It's it's truth. Like I, like I said in one of my videos that I had a learning disability, and I do, because I, it's hard for my brain to process things in my head, because I was told once that, like, my teacher once told me that, like, it's like half my brain, like, half of it don't work, half of it does, that's why I act what I, how I act, like, I act like a child, like, I act like a mature, and I act different. And that's how I am, and I don't know why is that's just me. I'm really scared. Like, no, I'm terrified of doing everything on my own because I am so used to my mom and my grandparents. And I hear all the time that half of my family be like, "Oh, you raised her wrong. That you raised her wrong." And you know, she got to live her own. She had to get her own job, be independent. And I'm scared to get a job because I'm scared I'll get fired. I have no idea how my mom does it. She's so good at her job. And I love her for all that she is. And I just can't lose her. I love my mom, but I don't want to lose her. Or my grandparents. Without them, I'm nothing. And if I get a job, I'm just, I don't know, I'll get fired because I can't be patient with the customers who can be rude sometimes. And disrespectful and I don't know it's <laughs> I'm planning to get a job where my mom works at I'm scared that I can't do everything on my own
because I don't know I don't know a lot of things like for example I I barely know how to cook and I don't know how to wash clothes because I don't know how to mess with the washing machine. The only thing I want to cook is eggs. That's it. And chicken wings and chicken nugget uh, pancakes. That's it. That's all. <laughs> I mean, who wants a woman that's single mom with a child and they can't really do anything and doesn't know how to do a lot of things because I'm not that smart. I'm not intelligent. And I'm kind of slow in my in my brain. I'm slow. And I, I don't know how to do everything on my own. And I'm not independent. A man or whoever wants a woman that's strong, smart, independent. He can do cooking and cleaning and everything, right? Or just at least cleaning the house and cooking at home while he works or whoever, you know. I'm none of those things. And what if I'm not a good mom, you know? Like, what's going to happen in the future? Am I taking people for granted? Am I being selfish? Am, am I even a good mother? Am I, am I like, doing things right? Am I... Like, I want to be myself and express myself. And I also want to be a good mom to my daughter. And hopefully she'll grow to be a good, you know, a good human being. I mean, but if she makes mistakes, that's okay because no one's perfect. You know, I want to teach her that it's okay to be yourself and to express yourself, to support LGBT. And that, you know, if you see a hate crime, stop it. Because hate crime is not a good thing. It really isn't. I'm not a hateful person. I wouldn't, I'm not like that. Like, to hear my own mom say, oh, it's good that the the people in the nightclub got killed because they can't live like that. How are you going to say that? As a human being, how are you, I understand that you don't like it, but that gives no right a person to take their life away, to murder them, okay? That made me cry when I saw what happened, like, months ago. Like, around June or something, or July. And the night the night that happened, like... It made me cry, because... It's just... Seeing their dead bodies like that... I can't even... I couldn't even look. I just couldn't. Because it hurts. Like, it's, like, sad. Like, they're human beings. Come on. Come on! Wake up, people! Why? They're people, too, you know? I understand you don't like it, but still... <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry for rambling right there. I keep on crying, crying. I'm just scared, you know. I'm terrified. Like, who's going to want me? Right? Who's going to want a single mom that can't do anything right? You know, who's going to want that? Who? And even though they say, oh, I will, I'm like, why? Why? What? What is... So special about me. I'm not special. I'm not that special. Like, what's so special about, about me that you want in your life? Oh, um, then my personality, that I'm a nice person? Yeah, that's good, but what, what about cooking and cleaning? What about getting a job? What about paying for stuff on myself? Paying for things? Or raising my child that I have with me? What about that? I'm afraid that I want to be alone. And if I, I don't know if I can, like, raise her by myself. Like, I want someone in my life one day. Anyone, really. I'm just scared no one would accept me as me. As who I am. As for me. When my mom said you gotta get a job and everything, and how am I... And my family say I have to get a job. I have to, I have to live on my own. Do things by myself. That I, my mom can't keep like putting up with me and my baby girl. And I guess they're right. Because like, there are some things that I do not agree with. But there are things that I do agree with. And at the same time. Like. <laughs> like. It's just that it's I don't really show it that I like I don't care like, I do care most of the, most of the things I I do care but some I do not care but I'm just saying that like not everyone lives on their own 
not everybody live by themselves, do everything by themselves, because there are people out there who do, live, who do live with their parent or one parent or grandparents or whoever, and people who live with their roommates, and there are people that do live with their parent or parents or whoever, and they have a disability or disabled. Or some of them do live with their parents and have jobs. I'm not saying everybody do, but some of them, some of them do have jobs, live with their parents or whoever, or live with their parents who whoever and are disabled. And I'm just scared. My head hurts from crying so much. <laughs> oh. I just felt like talking about how I feel inside my heart. I'm just telling you how I feel from with within within inside me. This is how I feel. This is real. I'm being honest. I'm really scared. I'm scared that I can't make it on my own. And that no one would accept me. And that I'm tired of being such a failure. I'm sorry for being dumb, for being slow. That I can't do everything on my own. I'm sorry for not being independent. I'm sorry for being a failure and a disappointment. I don't want to be. I don't want to feel that way. I don't want to feel like that. <laughs> I'm so scared. I think about this constantly every single day. I think about the future, what's going to happen to me and my and my daughter, Star. And if and her father, he has a heart condition and she has one too. And I'm scared what if he dies one day and he's not going to be around for his daughter when she grows up. I'm scared like she won't have a daddy. She won't like grow up to see him one day what if he dies before her or something like that what if like I can't I just can't deal with that <sighs> I think about it every single day my mom always tell me get a job get a job cause I can't live forever and I know she's right I'm just so terrified if if I do or I get fired or if I can't do anything right in a job, I'll get fired so easily because I don't know a lot of things and and cooking and all this stuff. And I'm just I'm trying to learn and even speak properly because there are times where when I speak. I stutter and I mess up when I'm speaking and I'm, I'm practicing, I'm learning to speak without messing up when I speak, when I talk. I'm sorry for crying and rambling in this video, it's just that I just want to just get this out of my chest to tell you how I feel. Um, yeah, um, I know some people think it's stupid, oh you shouldn't be scared, it's life, deal with it. You're not in my head. You're not in my heart. You don't know how I feel. So I'm, I'm trying to explain how I feel. If I was smarter, I would have done everything by myself. I was more independent, yeah, but I'm not. We're all human here. No one's perfect. I keep saying that. I almost say that in every video. Nobody's perfect because it's true. No one is perfect. We're all human. Everyone is different. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone is scared of something. We all have fears that we're afraid of. I'm just scared of the future. And if I take my mom for granted, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try and be a better daughter. I'll try to help her out more. I'll try to help clean more. This is me. And this is me being myself and just telling you how I feel right right from the heart. Anyway, goodbye guys. I'm sorry this video is so long. I'm gonna end it right here. Um I'll make a new video next time, you know. Hopefully it'll be a happy, maybe a funny video if I'm um, will try to be funny. <laughs> oh. Um, goodbye guys. See you next time in a new video. And
give the video a thumbs up if you want. I don't, you know, whatever. Leave a comment, a positive comment, because I don't got time to deal with negative, rude, mean, awful comments. Just something positive to make me feel better. And subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Bye, guys. And see you. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh.